money falling out. money falling out of that bus. It'll have to be a lot more than that. All right, the tracks are built and first first track build was epic fail. Hold on a second. This is the first wheel I tried. That will not work. And what would happen, the tower is so tall it would flex and bend, they're just too weak. And the wheel itself's not very wide. And these rings are not perfectly flat. So they checked level. So when I, when I made them, I checked level this way, but they're not perfect. They're off about an eighth an inch. So when that comes around, I need a little wider wheel. So dad went this morning to the local Kleindoffers hardware store and found some that seemed to be much better than those. So I plasma cut the first attempt off and re-welded and I actually moved them in a little bit too and made the the ring sit further out of the pocket. So we've got this little pocket down here and I raise it a little bit then went that way we have no drag on the concrete at all. So live and learn first rotisserie build. So sometimes you just have to learn the hard way. And I need to do one more thing. So you can see in the dirt line here for whatever reason, this track is wanting to kick around when you when we turn it. So I need to weld a bracket, a pocket to hold a board to go basically from from this track to this track to keep them uh, straight and keep them from moving around. I don't. I'm not sure why that's doing that, but what happens? We get our wheel right here on the edge and then it doesn't want to roll correctly. I have gone all the way around this rear ring with a level and checked it, and it is checking in the bubble. So it is because for whatever reason, it's kicking that, that bottom tray. So I gotta come up with a way to make that secure, and we've got it. We got it to the point where it'll flip, and we got it about halfway, halfway over. It's kind of freaky, trusting. I'm trusting everything I built to hold to hold that thing. You know, I'm sure it's fine. I can tell you one thing for sure that I got to get that tank out of there because the gas it it is spilling its fumes out. Yeah, it's running down. Stinks. So we're gonna get that tank out of there tank's probably toast anyway but that's got to come out I don't want that in there sloshing around stinking up the place but here's what we're kind of dealing with and how far I have it up right now and that's the good section <laughs> the uh, massive number of welds that people have done on this thing to try and repair it is pretty impressive and here's a good shot of our front section. So it looks like the frame itself is original and then people have gone back in and welded patches over the areas and sections that were rusted out. He's a mess. And that's the understatement of the year. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm a little disappointed in that track. Sorry for the wind. Try to keep you out of it. A little disappointed in that track. The way that's wanting to jump off of there. So I'll get that lined out, get that figured out, and we'll turn her all the way around. It'll flip. Let me uh, set the camera up and I'll drop it back down level. It does want to sit kind of level, kind of upright which I guess is a good thing. Um, I'm actually kind of shocked it's sitting 
crooked right now with no brake or braces on it. But I'll drop it down straight and then I would like to take a paint scraper and I just want to see what that looks like underneath that. So let me set the camera up and I will uh, tip him back down and see how much muscle that takes. Gasoline has got to go. Wow. It's a good feeling having it up on the rotisserie, I can tell you that. I feel like now I can really just kind of work a little bit each day. And the weather the last two days has been incredible. It was 65 degrees yesterday on Christmas in Indiana. <laughs> It was December 25th, had to be a record. And today, the day after Christmas, it's probably about 60 out. Kind of therapeutic, isn't it? So early Volkswagens, they painted the frames the same color as the car and then learned, hey, that's kind of expensive. And so they quit doing that. So you'll see a lot of early buses and early Beetles that have the uh, same color, like uh, convertible top frames in the early verts were painted the same color as the car, and then they started painting them black. And the bottoms of the buses were usually like a gray or a black. Later years were black. Let me work on that a little bit and I'll bring you back after I've got it all cleaned up. Well, that's what that cleaned up to look like. And there's the, the leftovers. But that, even when this bus was uh, repainted all the number of times it was repainted, that was never repainted. So that is original Dove Blue on the frame there. Even the channel that's running the cable here, even that has original blue paint on it. So that's pretty impressive that that's arrived, although that is pretty well coated with oil and gunk and grease and all that. So. Not shocking, I guess, that it survived. I would like to get it completely on its side today. <laughs> but I, I'm here by myself now. My dad and my brother were here earlier because they wanted to see it. And uh, I could get almost there, but I have no way to stop it. So that needs to be my one of my next uh, things to build on it. Is a way where I can kick kick something into the wheel or something where I can you can actually see that track jumping right there too I don't know why that's doing that but... and I can get it up on the front to where this weld is and it almost wants to hold itself right there It's not that bad to, to turn when it's going. You got good sun over here. Let me see if I can grab you. Bring you over. Maybe you'll be able to see something. almost wants to hold itself, but not quite. Pretty cool. Now I can grab you. Good sunlight, at least you can kind of see what we're dealing with here. paint on the bottom of that floor there in the center <laughs> crazy 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 
What do I got myself into, folks? I don't know, but it's going to be fun because you're in there with me. Like it or not! Alright, let's let this sucker back down. Hey everyone, and welcome back. I'm going to try and finish up uh, the rotisserie, all the final little pieces put on today. Hopefully, anyway. Uh, the temperature has taken a turn. Over Christmas we were spoiled. It was in the 70s. And of course today it's down to 25, plus the wind. So it feels a lot colder than that. A couple people mentioned that I needed to connect the two rings. They are. This bar connects the two of them and then has pieces that drop down and sit down in the rain gutter. So the other side has one as well. It just doesn't have those uh, little pieces on it. I cut them off twice and they were still too short. So I've got to recut those and I'll just weld them on the bus. So it is connected and then I'm going to make a piece very similar to that on each side of the bottom. More for a grab handle than anything else. So I've got to do that and then I'm going to design uh, my brake. Or not design it but implement it I guess. I have it already ready to go so we just need to put it on there. So I'm going to get going on that. Cutting up some things. It is a little chilly and uh, we'll see what we can what we can get done today. Everybody wants to see it go 360. We will at some point, I hope. Let's just hope the bus holds together. It's not something I need to do. It's something I want to do. So the only thing I need is for it to pivot just so that I can work on the bottom. So let me get going, get some things in place, and hopefully we can get this thing finished up today. is to not weld that to the rain gutter, which I am doing a decent job of not welding it to the rain gutter, so I have been successful there. Try to get a tack on the back side. That part's done. Well, I've got those two braces in underneath on the bottom side. And now I'm going to put a bracket on the two pieces of track. I'm just going to weld a piece here and uh, one on the other side of this side and then one in the back in the same location. I actually probably need to go hit that with the grinder, but get some raw steel exposed. 
I'm gonna do that and then where there are bolt holes drilled through here will basically attach the two tracks so that the two tracks can't do this. Before I flip it over, that's one of the things I wanted to get done. So try and finish that up and then I think uh, I think we've about got it. Here's a little insight into what I did for a break. I need to put a piece of wire on this, but basically you just kick it forward and it doesn't have to move very much at all. And that'll stop it. And then there's a chain set up you haven't seen yet on the other side uh, that we can move around and lock it into place. So that works perfect. There's no need for anything fancy. And it can't jump the wheels real easy because it's sitting in the track there. You can see that with the sun glare or not. But let me get these welded up. We'll get a piece cut to bolt through to hold those two tracks in place. And then I think we're pretty well done with this thing. Before this thing flips over all the way, I have to get this gas tank out of here. And it has gas in it. Let's see how much it has in it. A lot. You can see down in there. Or not, but you can see the shine of it and it is level pretty much. So, I mean, I'm tipped a little bit that way. But I gotta siphon that out. In order to siphon that out, I got a siphon hose. One of these little jobbers. It has a, there's a bearing, ball bearing down in there, and you basically just Shake it back and forth a few times, creates suction, and then the other end is just a plain hose, and you put that into your tank or wherever you're putting it. But this will have to go to the hazardous waste place because it is a 1968 vintage that has definitely varnished over. You can hear it rattling around in there. But I think I'm pretty well done with the big stuff on the build. I've got the, the two pieces on the two... Bleh, try that again. I've got the two tracks on the floor where they can't come apart. So this piece here keeps the tracks from doing this. And then that piece right there is kind of my inner grab bar. I figure uh, when I'm welding also it might be nice to kind of hang things on or rest things on. And they're just bolted, they can come out. So if I decide it's in my way, I'm putting in a patch panel or something, I can just remove it. And uh, these are bolted as well because when I'm done with this, I wanna be able to take the whole thing apart. I do have a very unique situation though. Of all of the wheels, this one wheel has an issue. And I'm gonna show you. I may have to replace that wheel. I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not. It's so dark in here right now. One wheel. I don't know if you can see that or not. But as I'm moving it, that wheel itself, can you see it? The wheel is moving that way for whatever reason. Put a spacer in it maybe. It's the only one that's doing it. And it kind of looks like the bus is, the whole thing is maybe going down a little bit, almost like the carport's on level. So I may have to wedge a shim in under here because what happens as I get around, it's gonna run out of wheel real quick. And you can see that it's, it's tipping down. And the, the track is moving, but the wheel is actually sliding over too. So I've got multiple things going on here and there is a little bit of a gap right there. So I'm wondering if I couldn't brace that up maybe and, and fix that. But that's my only real issue with it. So gas has to come out before she goes or before Pickle, he goes all the way around. Uh, pretty happy with how that's turned out. And someone was talking about how hard it is to move. It's not hard to move at all. My son's four years old and he can move it. I've just got my hand right here. And I'm moving it pretty easily, one-handed. I think I hit my pipe up there. Oops. Hope that didn't take out a headlight. All right, I got those two bolts that are on the tank straps uh, loose. And those are out. 
made in Western Germany. And then up where the spout goes outside the vehicle, there's a seal. There's just basically this rubber grommet that goes between the body and just kind of fits around the tank like that. So I don't see anything else holding that in its place. We'll double check, but I think the tank is ready to come out of there. We got a lot of that out of there, but I just want you to see the stuff is like orange. Looks like oil. Nasty. <laughs> wow. There it goes. Hopefully there's not more than five gallons in there. Yeah, it's been about a minute. So I know that's got probably three gallons in it because this thing is supposed to do three gallons a minute. Too bad we don't have smell-o-vision. Yeah. So if you've never used one of these before, it's, they're pretty neat the way they work. There's a little brass, that brass fitting that's on the end is down in the tank. And it, there's a little glass ball in there. And you basically just saw what I did. You just shake it back and forth until it kind of creates like a vacuum almost. And it just draws it right out. Pretty neat. And they're cheap. They're like 10 bucks. We use them uh, uh, for boats quite a bit. So, And my dad, uh, my dad uses them all the time. So I'm going to turn the bus and see if we can't get the last little bit out of there. Not very many buses, you can say. Let's turn it on its side and get the rest of the gas out. That's what we're going to do. And it looks like it had about four gallons in it, so I'm glad I didn't have to lift that out. And we're getting the rest of it out of there. It seriously smells like I just stained my deck. <laughs> Maybe I should have got a bigger cup. <laughs> yeah, let me run real quick. That'll sit there. I'm gonna grab a different cup. Thanks, Pizza X. Best pizza in town, and the best part about ordering pizza from them, you gotta keep the cup. Have to switch one more time? Maybe two more, I don't know. The advantage of this one is it, is it was clear. You can kinda see where it was. Yeah, we're getting close. There we go. We'll pour this one into the gas can and we'll keep switching back and forth as many times as we need to. Had to hold the cup up closer. The wind is whipping through here and it's blowing our pea stream out of the out of the cup. Alright, you've seen enough of that. I'll bring you back. Just like Maxwell House, I guess. Good to the last drop. Alright. Let's call that good. As you can see, it is dark. Let's try and get that tank out of there. You're probably not going to be able to see any of this. But I'll roll film. If you see something, good. If you don't, you should have been here. My light might be in the way.
shirt full of dust. Doesn't look too bad, eh? It's not all rusted out on the bottom. There's the back. Somebody's been building up there. That's probably what my shirt just got full of. Oh well. Oh my. Well, there it is, folks. Gas tank is out. Here's our little village back there. That actually as bad as I thought it was going to be. Not too bad. And that actually wasn't that bad to get out. I expected to have to wrangle that a little bit more. Hee <laughs> hee. That is out. I need to probably put that uh, piece of the bottom of the tank back on just so I don't lose it. And I had Aaron build me some shelves up high so I can shove some of that stuff up there. So with that, tanks out. I'll catch you on the next one. And I don't know about you, but I kind of like to see this thing go all the way around. Even though we don't need to, it's not necessary. It's kind of necessary just for me to see it. Thanks, everybody, and uh, I'll catch you next time.